Hey everyone, in this week's video, I'm going to teach you how to program in NXT using the EB3G programming language. Now, the first thing that needs saying in this video is, yes, it's possible. You can program in NXT using the EB3 programming language. I know some people might have known that already, some people might not, but now you're all on the same level playing field. Yes, it is possible to program in NXT in EB3G. Now with that being said, I'm going to address the reason why you're all here, and that is how do we actually program in NXT with the EV3 programming software. And it's very simple because it was purposely designed to be backwards compatible. For the most part, you can run pretty much any EV3 program on an NXT so long as you watch out for some of the features that are not supported. As a matter of fact, when I built my Kimosabi Sumo robots, uh, which you may or may not have seen, I have an EV3 version and an NXT version. I made the EV3 versions program first, and then the NXT version basically runs the same program, just with a few modifications, like there is no IR sensor for the NXT. But um, uh, pretty much you're going to use the same commands, the same blocks that would use to program in EV3 for the NXT. Like you would use all large motor blocks to control the motors on an NXT. You would use the corresponding sensors, like the ultrasonic sensor block, to program the NXT. It seems pretty self-explanatory. However, there are a few things that you need to watch out for when you're writing EV3 programs on the NXT. And I'm going to tell you about all of those right now. So here I've opened up the EV3 programming environment and I've plugged an NXT in just to show you what happens when you do this. When you plug an NXT in, as you can see, the EV3 programming software actually recognizes that it's an NXT and not an EV3, which is really awesome and it indicates this down here and it's going to show you if there are any features in your program that you're um, calling for that are unavailable on the NXT I have my encoders program here which all of these commands can be executed on an NXT however if you go to something like gyro following you see it recognizes it's an NXT and it can't use the gyro sensor so it notifies you with this little symbol here and anything that you try to use that can't be supported on an NXT uh, will come up with this little symbol. Now some functions and features that are not available on the NXT are like the gyro sensor, the IR sensor, those are pretty self-explanatory considering they're EV3 sensors. But in addition you can't use Bluetooth messaging NXT to NXT uh, in the EV3 programming software. The in invert motor block is also locked out as well as arrays and I found the medium motor block is also locked out. One note when you want to program the medium motor, because you can do it with the NXT, the medium motor is compatible, and um, you just can't program it with a medium motor block. So if you try to use this block on an NXT, it says you can't. But let's say you have a medium motor in port A, what you can do is just control it as if it's a large motor, using the large motor block, select port A, and now you can basically just control the medium motor as if you normally would, just calling it as a large motor. So that's a very useful thing. And then one final thing to note is if you're using an NXT 1.0, which I don't know how many people would because it is kind of old, but the NXT 1.0 has integer math limitations, which means it can't do decimal numbers like floating point values. It can only handle integers, which are whole numbers in its math. So that's something to keep in mind when you're programming an NXT 1.0 in EV3 software. Now at this point in the video, you likely have one more question remaining, and that is, why would I even bother programming my NXT with the EV3 programming language? And there are various reasons why you'd like to do that. The EV3 programming language has a few features that are not included in the NXT, like loop interrupts and stuff like that. There are, like, are a few features that you'd probably like to use on an NXT that you can't get with the normal NXT programming. The second reason, which is the biggest for me, is in my opinion, I just prefer the EV3 programming software over the NXT. I find it a little bit more intuitive. That, of course, is an opinion and not a statement of fact. You can like the NXT software better, but I just prefer the EV3, so I started programming all of my NXTs in EV3. The one final reason is, in my experience mentoring different FLL teams, uh, the EV3 programming software is a lot more intuitive for younger kids to learn than the NXT programming software. And that's why even on FLL teams that I've mentored that are still using NXT bricks, 
I teach them to use the EB3 programming software because I found that for the most part it's easier for kids to learn how to program and wrap their heads around programming if it's the EB3 programming software. NXT can get a little confusing at times. That of course is another opinion and not a statement of fact. It depends on everybody's preference, but that's what I've found in my experience. Now for my final note, one reason why you would maybe choose to use NXT programming on the NXT as opposed to EB3G completely independent of whatever preference you may have is if you're using Bluetooth messaging between NXT bricks because I showed earlier in the video as you may remember that the EV3 software does not support Bluetooth messaging in between NXT bricks and so this is a reason why you may choose to uh, program NXT regardless of whatever your preference is. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.